But let's go ahead and move on to uh, to topic number four. And I got to give it up to my boy, Nate Parker, because he came out with American Skin and it looks like it's hitting some pay video on demand records for vertical entertainment. And I have the story right here. Deadline coming through with everything. Nate Parker's American Skin scores notable paid video on demand revenue for vertical entertainment. So this is his latest skin, uh, skin film, uh, American Skin, which came out January the 15th. You know, theaters are not open as they should. And so there's a lot of on demand right now. And so they have this exclusive in the wake of receiving two Golden Globe nominations for his CIA directed movie music. Vertical Entertainment can boast that his Nate Parker feature American Skin has become one of the distributors highest grossing titles on paid video on demand with four million over two weeks. American Skin debuted on January 15th in select cinemas and on demand platforms such as Apple, Amazon, Vudu and Google Play. American Skin's two week figure best the 2.5 million that had accumulated over 10 days for the last summer Capone, a previous vertical entertainment high point. I'm told that American Skin PVOD success is largely due to a strategized local uh, strategized social media initiative, which received great support from the black community who embraced the film with taste uh, tastemakers such as LeBron James, Diddy, E-40, David Oyelowo and more. And so I will go ahead and grab this one first. Uh, I mean, I think this is cool. Uh, this was a very small production by Nate Parker. Um, you know, he was kind of blackballed. And so a, a number of years ago, and I kind of want to see him uh, succeed in any way that he possibly can. Um, as far as my opinion of the film, I thought it was cool. It wasn't the best thing in the world, but I, I thought it was cool. But I like all the social media attention that they spoke about when uh, this has been promoted on social media. I think that's just dope right there. And if this is a win for vertical entertainment, hey, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. So uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the film or, uh, and, but it's also kind of hard to track this too. Like, I, I just don't know really how to track streaming revenue numbers and things like, you know, cause this is still fairly new. I used to do box office results all the time, but it's been a while. But anyway, uh, Larry. How are you feeling about this, man? Yeah, I haven't actually seen this yet. I was waiting for it to come to one of the streaming services that I have, but I think I might have to go ahead and just rent it because I don't know when it's coming to, you know, whatever. I mean, I have enough of them. I have Netflix and Amazon and Hulu and Disney and I don't know, probably a couple more. But, um, yeah, I, I, I this is one movie I've been wanting to see. So I think I might just have to go ahead and, and rent it and watch it because I've been checking. This one's been on my watch list for probably like a year and a half. So, you know, because it was supposed to have been out like I feel like it was supposed to have been out like a year ago or something. It got pushed back or something. I don't know. But Yeah, yeah it really originally came out in like uh, it debuted in like 2019 and they've been just been looking for a distributor this whole time. So. Yeah, and they, they, they did him dirty, man. The way that, like, when he came out with, um, what was the one that he did that, about the, the slave revolt that was supposed to have Oscar buzz to it? Uh, and then that, I forgot. What is it called? Um, God dog it. Yeah, whatever that moment was. I can't remember the name of it, but but they did him that's wrong. The name, after that. The, then they tried the, to make it seem like he was some sort of, some sort of, uh, you know, predator or something. I was like, shh. They did it, and they just did him so dirty, and they found a black woman to do it to him. On top of that, you know, it's just mm -hmm. wrong. It was all about nothing. They and they still, you know, it's one of those. It's one of those stains. It's just hard to get off you, even after it comes out that it's all about nothing. <clears throat> it's hard to get that stink off of you. This is very true. Um, this is very true. And one second before I pass to you, let me just read this quote real quick. Um, exclaim American Skin producer Mark Berg. We are in the midst of a, a pandemic and everyone usually pays attention to who's number one at the box office. None of this really matters, especially now. We know when we read American Skin script in 2019 that audiences around the world would connect to the story. It's 2021 and I'm happy that we are changing the narrative. What do you think about all this, man? Uh, and did you also, did you see the film too? Uh, I have not seen the film. I'm happy for him. I, I just, it's, I think it first came on my radar, honestly. I think I watched uh, your trailer reaction and like you were super excited. So I'm like, I, I guess I got to check this out. Mm -hmm. But like theaters are open here, so and they've been open for like months. And I thought it was going, you know, what I'm saying, end up wind up uh, coming to like the theater like uh, up the street. Never came though, so I'm probably gonna have to like do like Larry and just like have to rent it uh, <clears throat> check it out. Already, 
Yeah, that's cool, man. And like, you know, they was talking about it had the success, you know, here go uh, LeBron James, American skin, my goodness, and much watch now. You know, we got Diddy over here <laughs> right too. You know, so they feeling it helping, you know, helping it uh get the little push. Got some more people right here. Some Mari Hardwick and Kenny Burns and you know, everybody just kind of doing their thing. E40 down there. And I remember <clears throat> right before it came out, you know, it was all over social media. And right. So, uh, you know, um, I you know, I thought it was I, I I gave it a passing grade myself. And so um, you know, but yeah, big up Sine big, big up Sine Parker, man. I want him to succeed and um so do I. Know, and and the we dude's a hell of a filmmaker. Yeah, he really is. He really is. He really is. So one sec, you got anything else? Oh no. Oh no, I got it. All right. So I now I was clearing my throat. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> man, man, man. Well, anyway, so there we go, guys. Uh Nate Parker is winning right now with vertical entertainment.